is on upset alert tonight. Jay Williams, talk to me. All right, I got them in my final four. Okay. And Seth, you know, every single day when we're doing college game day, our partner in crime, Reese Davis, always says how he thinks they're going to check out early because it's his alma mater. I'm going to go North Carolina on mm. upset alert. This is an Alabama team that plays like an NBA team. Nate Oates, they believe in threes and layups. That's it. There's no mid-range games. There's no middies. It's either at the rack, they're racking it, Seth, or they're shooting threes. You got a guy, Mark Sears, who is one of the best players in the nation. And look, this is a team that literally, I think their shot, it was like 2 of 38 or some crazy abnormal shot selection against Arizona earlier in the year and had a chance to win that game. So you can question their defense, and I know how good North Carolina is. And I know this is the North Carolina team that is better defensively than they were years past. But this is an Alabama team set that you and I have talked about. If they get hot at the right time, if they're able to make threes from the outside with the way they play, don't worry, Molly, I'm not going to make mention of UConn. Mm. You're fine. Mm. But this is the <laughs> Alabama team set that I think that can beat North Carolina if they're making shots at a high clip. Jay, well, look, here's the deal. Uh, yeah, that's true. But if Carolina just guards their yard and doesn't overhelp, and all of a sudden they're forced to shoot contested twos as opposed to step in threes, okay. I think Carolina's going to be fine. I, mean, I agree. I think that's Carolina's what we said about NC State. This game in the paint. That's what we said about they, NC State, SG. They, they got to win this game in the paint. They got to win this game on the glass. They've got to win this game. To, I, I agree with you in one thing. The losses that Carolina had this year, they've struggled with bigger guards. I'm interested to see. You've got a six-foot guard and a six-foot guard defending Mark Sears, Aaron Estrada, and Ryland Griffin, all right? The matchups in this game in terms of on the perimeter, I do believe that those big physical guards can get in the lane and maybe even beat Carolina with those physical twos at the rim or maybe get Carolina's guards in foul trouble. So that'll be something to watch. But Michigan State's guards couldn't get by and dominate that game. Be interested to see if Alabama's can. Coach, which remaining team do you think UConn should fear? I think it's Illinois. Illinois is old. They, start, they have five seniors, one okay. junior and a sophomore. This is an Illinois team that is big. No, is it, no one plays in the game that's smaller than 6'5". Five, five. They've got Terry Shannon, who Jay Will just talked about, who can dominate a game. They've got Coleman Hawkins, who they can invert and pull Donovan Klingon away from the basket. They've got Marcus Damask, 6'6", six, six, who will back you down, take you to the post, which is going to be a tough matchup for Cam Spencer. The size, the physicality. They bring in Dane Danger off the bench, who now they have a low post scorer. Quincy Carrier is in like his sixth year as another front court player with versatility. The size, the physicality, the athleticism, the experience, the toughness. Illinois possesses all those things. The number one offense in college basketball. Here's the question. Illinois doesn't always defend. How are they going to get Connecticut out of their rhythm? To beat Connecticut, you must be able to score. And the one thing this Illinois team can do is they can drop 80-90 on a given night. They are, to me, the most dangerous team for Connecticut moving forward. Molly, can I answer this question as a I former want, player? Yeah, I want you to okay. answer this guy who's won the chip and then came back. Yeah. Oh, I, there I, you go. I, That's great. Yeah, wait, wait, I don't fear anybody. <laughs> I ain't fearing anybody. I ain't worried about anybody in any region, any bracket, if I'm UConn. I'm focused on me because I feel like UConn executes. We got into this whole thing with Greeny yesterday, joking around, Seth about the fact that he thinks UConn can find a way to get into the play-in tournament. We were joking, Stop. right? He was joking. We were, he was joking about it, right? And it turned into a real conversation. And then I followed up and I said, hey, look, I don't think they have the talent of an NBA team, but they sure as hell execute like one. Now, Seth, you and I know how Dan Hurley and his team, how they execute. Now, I'm not saying that teams can't take them out of their stuff or they can't be disrupted, but the mentality that this team has if they're ever being asked who they should fear, this team don't fear anyone. You know their head coach. He's finding motivation in every facet of every small detail. Oh, you want to give me the hardest region? Okay, we're going to use that as motivation. Oh, even with Mike Greenberg, you want to joke around? That's absurd about us being an NBA team. But we need to execute. He finds motivation in everything yeah. that they do. So fear is never part of the vocabulary for the UConn Huskies. It should not be. I, I agree with that. He wants to create a cause, and basically the media is helping him create a cause by the bracket and everything we're saying about their yeah. next opponent. He's only focused on one thing, what's in front of him. And he'll Absolutely. get his team ready to play.
As they should be. I'm just happy that this one's like a 7.30 tip, so there, there's no it. passing we have out any, on the couch. Have you and Stephen, have you guys talked about this? Are there any new, Bets? you know, shoes, oh, bags it's, it's on the line? Oh, it's actually Shannon and I. Oh. It's you, Connor. You got somebody it's else. It's you, Connor, the field. And he, oh, didn't, think, he didn't, have, didn't think I'd have the you-know-what to pick UConn, uh -huh. and I did. So, yeah, uh -huh. I'll be Another getting a designer bag. Another pair of new bag. shoes for Molly. Nope, it's a bag. Molly a bag. got onions. Okay, Coming I see up. it. And that bag I won't have... be cheap.